Yeah. All right, I'll call the regular meeting of council for June the 15th. Our order, please. Uh, we'll get things started. I just want to recognize our former mayor, Susan Castley, is in attendance tonight. And of course, our usual guest, Chief Krebs, is here. And we have some other people in the audience that are uh, here to observe, see, see what this is all about. So, welcome, everybody. So, uh, first off, we need uh, uh, a motion to approve the agenda. Moved this sorry, I'm not a uh, uh, yeah, yeah approve this agenda. Yeah. yeah. So I had a motion from Councillor Septon to approve the agenda. Seconder, please. I'll second. Okay. Any questions? Great. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Great. Motion carried. Now we've got a little bit of housekeeping to do, Council. We have uh, after we adopt the minutes from the uh, minutes the uh, amended minutes from the April meeting. Yeah, so I'll like to move to adopt the amended minutes of the April twentieth, twenty twenty two regular meeting, Council. I'll okay. second. Any questions? So I just want to read on April. 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 Okay, so there's just one note under. Who seconded that? Uh, Morgan. Ms. Council. Council um, it's just under Parks and Rec. I'm going to go back to my here because I did under here. It's probably a little easier. Um, safety should be safely. So under G, Parks and Recreation, mm -hmm. the motion to have the current structure be safely removed rather than safety removed. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other, any other questions, comments? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Motion carried, thank you. Now we need a motion to adopt the minutes from the May 18th regular meeting of council. I move to adopt the minutes of May 18th, 2022 regular meeting council. I'll second. Questions? The only one I had is with regard to, hang on, I'm excited them all on here. This is going to easier for me. Under the Ralph Gorman, under uh, E, Ralph Gorman, JL Enterprises suggested placing placing large rocks placed around the playground. Just can we just take up place? It just seems to be redundant. So under yeah, you got it. Okay. Any okay. other questions, comments? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those concrete minded. Thank you. Motion carried. Chief Krauss, you're on deck for the uh, fire department report. <coughs> Mayor, council, and the public. Uh, starting up, uh, eventually we're all going to be one, so I'm printing off my whole report for now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. So, month of May, we had 24 runs. Uh, there are 911 calls where we responded. Quite a few grass fires and NBCs are the next thing vehicle accidents. A lot of the assist other uh, agencies would be. I'm going to say it's ambulance to Brunswick. It just doesn't have it in the report, so you can print it out that way. So. So, any questions? Uh, Chief, just a quick question. So, were some of these grass fires done during the no burn times or something like that? I'm just curious what happens. <clears throat> some are. I'm going to say, yeah, uh, sure, no, at least one or two that was no burn, but it, uh, but you can look at the address. Okay. Fall over and if it's Kingsclear First Nations, well, Understood. it's open. We have the DNR, we automatically dispatch DNR to any grass fire or forest fire. Automatic. Thanks, Thank you. No Any other questions for Chief? Uh, just one, but not related to this. So, how's the ladder training going? Excellent. We got 
14 of us trained on the truck itself. Uh, we've been doing training, um, when was that? Two weeks ago. We had the whole crew in, trained with them. Last Wednesday night, they took it out after dark to try it, and uh, that went well. Great. So, no we're uh, all up to snuff with that. Yeah, it's it's stocking her up a little bit at a time. Yep. No issues with the truck? No. Perfect. That's great. great. That's well, really good news. Well. How many people do you figure are training? 14 operators. Wow. wow. They're the drivers and there's got to be at least two on it. That's our SOPs. There would be two operators on it. But once we get on scene, um, if we need people, any of the people that are comfortable on the ladder. And we pretty well got that figured out now. There's some that's a little shaky, so <laughs> we can leave them someplace else. <laughs> they can hold the ladder. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The ground ladders. <laughs> the drivers need to have uh, tandem axles or rotation thing too, don't they? Five, three, right? air. Yeah. yeah. So, we're all, that's all of that. Yeah, great. Any that's other wonderful. Any other questions for Chief? Nope. Okay, I need a motion to receive the fire department report, please. Motion to receive the firefighter. Second. Second. Fire department report. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded. Motion carried. Thank you, Council. Thank, Thank you, Chief. You. Appreciate no it. Problem. Thank, Thank you me. very much. I'll see nice. you next month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heading up for life burning or life uh, fire training tonight. Oh, wow. All right. We're in the trailer that's out in Maryland right now. And uh, it stopped through a week ago. So it's out in Maryland. <clears throat> Some of us went out last night and got trained on it. Now we've brought the whole crew in and run them through it. Cool. Oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. and then tomorrow night, level one live fire training in Neuromocto. Yeah. And the boat's out tonight, too. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, you guys are busy. Well, we are in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep track of them, too. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to move on to 7A1, which is a presentation from RSC 11 on the terms and conditions application for the Happy Farmer. Good How you doing? Hi, Dan. So we got everything set for you, so we're ready for your presentation. Perfect. Everyone can hear me okay? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So this is an application for the Happy Farm for Blind Tank. Terms and conditions application for permitted use of having an agricultural operation on property. So, sorry. Um, so this uh, application is for the Rural Community and Animal Council for the recommendation to the Planning and Doing Adjustment Committee of RSC 11 for the consideration of terms and conditions for the permitted use. Uh, the property is located at the corner of Route 640 and the Maxwell Forming Road, and it's zoned rural under the Rural Community of Penwell Wheel Center Bylaw 11-2016. An agriculture use is permitted. Uh, to terms and conditions. The landowner, Ralph Randall, provides written permission uh, with the application for the Happy Farm to have an agricultural operation on this land. Um, the Happy Farm will use 10 centers for a small scale farm, no chilling, to grow organic vegetables, as well as host Saturday morning farmers markets from 9 to, uh, to 12 p.m. Um, there will be on-site parking and the use of a natural spring, a natural spring for water. Uh, there is a definition of everything that is permitted in an agricultural operation included in the report and really everything they're doing is permitted. There is a, a 
uh, water cord to mass wetland on the property. However, they're doing everything on the um, opposite side where the wetland is uh, pretty well in the corner of Madrill Settlement Road and uh, Hangwell. There were no interdepartmental consultations. Notification of this um, meeting went out to landowners within 100 meters of the property and I've received no phone calls, inquiries, anything at all. Um, to permit terms and conditions, approval must be received from the back of RSC 11. And staff of RSC 11 is requesting comments from the Rural Community of Hanwell Council prior to the PRAC making its decision. Uh, the planning of uh, the PRAC meeting is um, next week on the 28th. Um, so the proposed terms and conditions recommended by staff reflect the proponent's stated vision of the operation as given with the application and will ensure the agricultural operation does not create land use conflicts with the surrounding properties. So staff recommends, well before I get to that, I just want to um, take a look at some of the attachments which uh, I think everyone has there in case uh, there are any questions. Um, so the first one is just basically showing the property and you can see where the wetland is. So what they're doing is on the other side of the property where the wetland isn't. Um, and geo and map showing the wetlands again. The application with the uh, applicant's division of basically what they want to do. And there should have been an attachment with Ross Randall's signature for the application. And then there's a copy of the zoning information from the rural plan. So, the staff recommends that the rural community of Hanwell Council recommend that the planning and review and adjustment committee of the RSB 11 allow the permitted use of an agricultural operation on CID number 7546309 in the rural zone of the Rural Community of Hangwell Rural Plan Bylaw 11 2016, subject to the following terms and conditions. One, that any signs be in accordance with applicable provisions of the Rural Community of Hangwell Rural Plan Bylaw 11 2016, that parking be in accordance with applicable provisions of the Rural Community of Hangwell Bylaw 11 2016. The outdoor lighting be located in a range of shield that does not interfere with traffic proceeding along the public street for the newer landowners in the reasonable enjoyment of the property. Four, that any development within 30 meters of the water course or wetland is subject to the water course and wetland alteration regulation 90-80 of the Clean Water Act. And five, that the agricultural operation adheres to all applicable government regulations. And that's my report. Okay, any questions? Any questions for Robin? Oh, sorry. Any questions for Robin? I have two, actually. Okay. Um, Councillor McKenzie has a couple of questions, Robin. Yeah. Robin, for the uh, number one the recommendations there, shouldn't the signs be in accordance with the signage bylaw, not the rural plan bylaw? You are absolutely right. Thank you. I don't have the number of that offhand, but I, you, know, you know what I mean. Uh, the other question is uh, back in the, in the background information for it. It says use, they're going to use natural spring for water. Are they talking about the swamp that's adjacent to that uh, uh, land part? The wetland? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure where the spring is. I haven't been out to look for the spring. I've been out to the property, but I wasn't shown the spring. I didn't ask. Okay, just curious. For agriculture, you might tend to use a lot of water. I'm just curious where they're going to get it from. I guess it's a spring. Right? I yeah. Um, I, I don't know if anyone's been by the property yet. It actually looks quite nice the way they have it set up. But they have two big um, water containers like you would see at um, cabins or campsites that are off-grid. Okay. And so they have the water in to water their plants. So that's be quite an efficient operation when I was to take a look at it. Yeah, that was cool. Thanks. So number one does have to be changed, that is correct. It should be the sign by law. I'm glad you caught that, thank you. Okay, I'd like to move that the Rural Community Hamwell uh, Council recommend the Planning Review Adjustment Committee of Regional Service Commission 11 
allow the permitted use of agricultural operations on pin number 75463109 in the rural zone of rural community panel uh, rural plan bylaw 11-2016 subject to the following terms and conditions. One, that any signs be in accordance with applicable provisions of the Rural Community Handle Signage Bylaw. Two, that parking be in accordance with applicable provisions of the Rural Community Handle Rural Plan Bylaw 11 2016. Three, that outdoor lighting be located, arranged, or shielded as not to interfere with traffic proceeding along the public street or with nearby landowners and reasonable enjoyment of their properties. Four, that any development within the <coughs> meters of watercourse or wetland is subject to the watercourse and wetlands alteration regulation, regulation 9080 of the Clean Water Act, and number five, that the agricultural operations adhere to all applicable government regulations. I'll second it. Okay, have the motion, have the seconder. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Thank you, Council. Motion carried. Thanks, Robin. Thanks, Robin. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good evening. Just a quick point of order here. We uh, once again skip number four and five on the agenda items. In case we want to have any public input or inquiries, do you want any public input? We're good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just want to check. Thank hey you, guys. Nice Bye. seeing you. <laughs> okay, uh, disclosures, Council? Okay, permit applications. We do have quite a few, which is nice to see. Yeah. Everybody got the report on the building permit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's actually 10. <coughs> Maybe a little smaller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only one we talked about it before I, I had concerns with is the uh, second one up from the bottom. Somebody building a house and garage, 70 by 32. Uh, okay. By themselves for forty-five thousand dollars. That's again, is something we certainly have to talk to uh, RSC eleven about, where the the fee for the building permit is tied into the value. Yeah, that's a. I just had a, a buddy of mine put a, a slab in. Well, you'd be familiar with the property, the old uh, lodge over there at uh, by Hillgart Lake. Mm -hmm. Ten thousand bucks, put a little slab for a garage. No, this is, it, it's, mm. especially if you look at the third from the top, which yes. is a 38 by 45, only a slightly larger house, $550,000. Yeah, that seems a lot more reasonable. Seems like more reasonable, yeah. Yeah, this is $45,000 to, I mean, Not a chance. it's something we've, uh, we talked about at our, at our last event meeting, yeah. just a matter of setting up a time to talk to RSC 11 and see if we can get that looked after anyway. You're missing a digit. Yeah, exactly. Or he has to match the price for us. Yeah, just exactly. Yeah. Okay, uh, petitions and delegations. Oh, sorry, proclamations uh, with the Rotary Club. And I do have a proclamation right here. <clears throat> so, proclamation celebration of 100 years of Rotary. Whereas the Rotary Club of Fredericton, <coughs> the oldest club in the province of New Brunswick, was founded on June the 22nd, 1922. And whereas Hanwell Rotary, 2014, has committed to serving our community, our nation, and the world, and whereas, while demonstrating its belief in the Rotary International model of service above self, the club and foundation has provided innumerable other service projects that have benefited our community. And whereas, Hanwell, New Brunswick, <coughs> and our residents celebrate the Rotary Club's 100 years <coughs> of service and thank the club and their Rotarians for their compassionate role in building a stronger community. Therefore, I, Dave Morrison, Mayor, do hereby proclaim the raising of the Rotary flag <coughs> excuse me, to signify the beginning of a year-long celebration of Rotary commemorating 100 years of service. And we have, I believe, the president, possibly, of the Rotary Club? Yes. So, I think that's the cause. Okay. So, number 11, we have business arising, the streetlight petition. <coughs> I'll pass that over to our clerk, if she wants to update council on where we are with that. Um, sure. Um, so um, we reviewed um, the streets and the amount of votes that came in, and we consulted with um, we had to consult with legal to make sure that we were reading the policy correctly. 
Um, after confirming with Cox and Palmer, um, their, interpre their interpretation of our current streetlight policy um, is as follows. Given that, the, given that the policy is, as it is currently written, references the requirement of an absolute majority, then my interpretation is that a majority would be reached only if more than 50% of property owners entitled to vote, vote in favor of change, whether they attend to vote or whether they do not. Absent the word absolute, my interpretation would differ. Um, my interpretation is based on my understanding of an absolute majority supported by case law. So it is the recommendation of the clerk that no street lights will be installed. Okay. Any questions? Council's clear on that? We are, but is, uh, will we be able to see the results of the vote? Uh, no. I don't. I, mm. I, I, don't. Did, I think last time it became more convoluted. So it nope. was just a staff recommendation, so yeah. we went with that. Yeah. <coughs> Operational, we shouldn't see it. So I don't, I don't know if we need a motion on that, or you guys want to follow through? So. No, there's, no, there's nothing for council to do. Okay, moving on. We have correspondence. Uh, correspondence A, we have a letter from Susan Cassidy, President of the Rotary Club of Hamill, celebration of 100 years of Rotary. Uh, can we get a motion on that, please? I move to receive the, sorry, I move to receive the letter of correspondence dated May 20th, 2022 from Susan Cassidy, President of the Rotary Club of Hanwell, with respect to celebrating 100 years of Rotary. Seconder? I'll second. Any questions? Discussion? All those in favor of receiving the correspondence, please indicate by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Motion carried. Thank you, Council. Item number B, email correspondence from Brian McKnight. And that's the Family Violence Awareness Booklet. So it looks like they're requesting a, uh, we buy a portion or an advertisement in their crime booklet. What, what, did, what did we do last year and we ask us every year? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, defer to our, like to our resident uh, <laughs> contribution expert, <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Fox. Thank you. Um, so last year, I think this was the first one that we dealt with as a new council. Um, mm -hmm. And um, this is another one of these cases. This is actually coming from Fenerty um, in Moncton. So it's the same kind of deal for me. I feel as though um, this information is, is, there's such a small percentage that the charity actually receives from this. Um, all the correspondence, all of the work is coming directly out of Fenerty. Last year, what we did is we made a donation directly to the charity. Okay. What are council's wishes? Do they want to make a direct contribution to the charity? Rather than buy space in their magazine? I think it would be better. I think that's a better... Yeah, that, that, make a, that way... Should we not receive this and then do it? No, we, we do it in the... Do it, there's a motion. We either have to receive it or not do a motion or do a motion. If, right, the one, the B motion as written is basically like the second part of the under the or is the direct. Yeah. Okay, so how much do we want to donate to the local folks? Well, they were looking at, if we bought something, they're looking at, if we had about an eighth of a page business card, it would have been $220, that's the minimum. What did we do last year? That's a good question. <laughs> we, could, we could probably go with 250 bucks if it's in the budget. I think it was 300 last year, actually, because we weren't giving it through a... Uh, intermediary right. direct because the, cause the intermediary is take up. up to sometimes 90% right. of yeah. the donation, right? Do we know what, are, what, what we spent already on donations? I think we're something like 2000 or something. Like that. I, so I think we're, we're safe. I think there's still, safe, you know, so. $1,500 left in this year's budget for donations, if I recall the last time. But we it's only about. May. Right, it's only May and the school is, is spoken up, so. That's June, actually. Or June. Or June. Still, yeah. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to move a motion. I move to receive the email correspondence from Brian McKnight with uh, respect to purchasing the advertisement of the Family of Violence Awareness Booklet. No, I'll second. Mm -hmm. Wait, we're not buying the space. We're going to. That's. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm trying to move this one if somebody wants to vote it down. I wasn't looking to do a donation at this time. Oh, okay. So you want to? You're looking at doing this one. So we have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second here? Yeah, second. Okay. Uh, so, uh, any questions, concerns? This is. Uh, Councillor Septon's doing the motion on exactly what's written there under the OR. So we're just accepting the correspondence, we're not making a donation? Right, I'm concerned because we have the schools coming up and a few other things that I'm, I'm concerned where our budget is, where we'll go past it. Okay. Any other questions, concerns? So um, it's not that, oh sorry, Tim. Oh, um, I was just going to, uh, I, I would not support that at this stage. I think I would support tabling this until the next meeting, until we know what we do have left in our budget. Shall we motion to table it next month? Or we just vote this down. That's good. That mm -hmm. okay. So what's council's wishes? Do we want to table it or continue with the vote? Table it, amend it to make it donation directly to it, to the organization, but not, and minus is not to do it to this one. Well, we can vote this one down and somebody put another motion forward to contribute directly to the organization. Which mine would be the receive, which means we're receiving it. Then if you want to amend it to make a direct donation, you can. Sorry, just a, a point of order with Robert's rules of order for this. I'm, I'm smashing my head against this. Remember, so if this is this is the motion basically to action to act on this. That's right. If if this motion gets voted down, we can't make another motion to act on it because we've already taken an action on the item specifically. But he's, he's no. voting, it, he's asking not to, to do a donation. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. The first motion is not But if it, gets, if, it's shot, if it gets shot down though, then we're not receiving the report basically. We're not going to do anything with it. You can't shut, you can't motion to not receive it. Oh, yes you could. You can motion to not receive it, and then make a different motion. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Okay, but that's not the motion we have on the floor right now. Right. Right. Motion, right. Is to receive motion is to receive it. If you both want to make an amendment because you want to make a, a donation directly, I believe that's how we did it last time. Yeah. Make a motion that you're going to make a payment directly, not to these guys. That would be an amended motion. Okay, so do you want to make an amendment? amendment? Not me. Somebody want to make an amendment to uh, Councillor Seppin's motion? Councilor Fox, yes. Thank you. Um, I, I'd like to just table this until the next meeting. Okay, so uh, Councilor Fox has a request to table it. I'll what's second what's Councilor's wishes? Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, it's been seconded. I seconded it. Okay, so, we'll, so we'll, we'll move to table it until our next meeting. Yeah, all in favor? All in favor. All in favor. All, 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 all those Councilor reminded. Yeah, you're getting ahead of it. So we're tabling the next one. Excellent. Oh, that was a tough one. I know, for two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Uh, item C. We have email correspondence from Andre Vino, Royal Canadian Legion Military Service Recognition Book. Can I motion to table this one as well to next month? Can we verify the budget? I'll second. All those in favor of tabling this motion until next month, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary, aye. Motion carried. Thank you, Council. Okay, meetings and special events. I uh, have the mayor's report. Has everybody uh, got the mayor's, mayor's report? Can I get a motion to receive it? A motion to receive the mayor's report. A second. Oh, it's been motion and second. Do we any discussion, questions? All those in favor of, of receiving the report, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Motion carried. Thank you. All right, moving on to the uh, committee reports. Age friendly did not meet. Uh, communications, we had a report from communications. Did everybody get a chance to read that? I move to receive the communication committee report as presented. I'll second. So, any questions, discussion? How come my recipe didn't make it into the Hamill Herald? <laughs> it is in it. Where? It's in the upcoming Herald. I thought it was supposed to be in the Herald that just came out. Oh, it's in. 
No, it was it was it's to be in the July edition, the summer oh, edition. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. That's it's, it's there, Al along with along with Deputy Mayor Jonas. Which will be up above yours. <laughs> so, on the first page. All right. Any other questions? I do. I just uh, want a clarification. Under new business, you have advertised group block septic pumping to get rebates. Can you just clarify? I didn't understand. <laughs> I'm going to assume that this would be the pumped, pumped contest. Yeah, get pumped mm -hmm. contest that's done. Yeah. The, the get pumped contest, the pumped contest. I I was not at the meeting, so I can't help you. So I will I will, can, I, will, can I, will I will I will, so I, will yeah. I will clarify with Emily. Yeah. Yes. I suspect that's what it's about I to think get it's the get pumped, pumped contest. contest. We're yeah. going again. We have it every year. It's so kind of an annual occurrence. So. But it's we're doing it already. It's on social media. Yeah, we're already right. doing it. Yeah. I think it's just to cover it off, I guess. Yeah. I will clear. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, any other questions? All those in favor of uh, the report signify by saying aye. Aye. All those contrary minded? Motion carried. Thank you again. Economic development did not meet. Emergency measures. We have an emergency measures report. Has everybody uh, had a chance to look that over? Yeah. Motion received emergency measures report. Second. All right, any questions, discussion? I do, I do actually, I'm not quite sure, we may have to ask the question next time. Um, with those alerts that we sent out, they were kind of discombobulated. Is that addressed? Does anybody know? Um, we have to work with Sentinel directly, because it was a Sentinel issue, it's an actual programming issue, it's not... Well, it's good you identify yeah. it when it's not an emergency. That is, yeah. As far as I told everybody, it's a good news that it happened. this is when we want it to happen, so you can sort of... But we didn't have a resolution to how that... Came not yet. Out. No. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Councilor Heisler. Uh, presentation. You have the York Sudbury. Sudbury. Yep. Search and rescue. And then clarification under the Sentinel not notification again. At least we received comments from residents and was able to assist them with the updates. I don't think at least should be there. Okay. I was just wondering what you meant by it. Okay. <clears throat> Any other corrections? Ready for the question? All those in favor of, sleep, of uh, receiving the emergency measures or report, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those contrary minded? Motion carried. Thank you very much. Uh, finance did not meet. Governance and policies did not meet. Moving on to Parks and Rec. We only met last night, so that came in. It came in today. In the agenda package. Yep. Yeah, it is in the agenda package. Did anybody get a chance to review it? Yes. Yeah. I move to accept the committee report from Parks and Recreation. I'll second. Any questions, concerns? I'd just like some more information about the Mayor's Awards. Oh, okay. So the Mayor's Awards are done in conjunction with Fredericton, Oromondo, Hanwell. Or, sorry, Fredericton, New Maryland, and Hanwell. So they used to be done pre COVID. Um, so all the mayors, what they would do is they have certain things that children have to do over the summer, and if they complete them, then they get an award presented to them by the mayor. There's an um, event at the end of the year, all mayors attend, and they present to their own uh, resident child kind of thing. So they're just activities to keep them busy over the summer, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's a great little program. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Anything else? Any other questions? Okay. All those in favor of receiving the Parks and Recreation Committee report, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary minded? Motion carried. Thank you. And since it was accepted, um, whereas a BMX trail area is mentioned in recommendation number 13 of the Recreation and Leisure Master Plan, and whereas said project has already been listed in the five year capital plan and has a budget allocated for it, and whereas the condition of the surface of the 0.8 acre field in Brookdale Recreation Park on Camber Drive has an unsafe surface that is in need of immediate attention to be resurfaced and graded, I hereby do resolve to authorize and direct the clerk to use this opportunity of resurfacing that field to move forward with getting quotes and tendered as required to move forward with the changing of the existing grass field at that location into a BMX bike park for the community. I'll second. Okay, any questions, discussion? 
All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those down, trade minded. Great, motion carried. That's going to be a super project if we can get it off the ground. That's going to be ideal use of that property, and it's going to be something great for the folks, the bikers in the area. Make it safer. And safer, for sure. And just to know, um, we did also recommend that large rocks be placed around the Brookdale, in front of the parking lot at the Brookdale Park, because the there has been ATVs on the beach volleyball court. So if we pay, place some bigger rock to stop the ATVs from going in, that would be beneficial as well. Yeah, I wonder if that'll stop them from going in the other side and coming across. Well, we will have to do it as, as yeah. well. Yeah, right. the property. Yeah, it's, yeah. wherever yeah. they can gain access. I think we should ATVs. put a sign up also that the ATVs are, are certainly not allowed yeah. in there. Motorized vehicles are not allowed. Yeah, yeah, just the yeah. same thing we have in the park. Same. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I mean, it's like I said, they they are a problem when they go where they're not supposed to go, and it's just it's just a few. Most likely, most of the ATVers are very respectful. Right. It just takes a few to give the whole group a bad name. I think the idea was putting down Ralph Foreman too, wasn't it? I believe. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's all we're going to discuss. Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Where the benches are currently. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Up from that, but yeah. Okay, so the update on the Ralph Gorman, it's not on the agenda, I know, but it's a good place to talk about it. It's, uh, it's been approved by environment that we are allowed to fill the, fill the pond in. Cool. So we're in the process of getting a quote to fill it in, but before we can get a quote, it has to be drained. So before we get a quote, we'll have to get it surveyed so we know what's happening with in become our property. So it's, there's a whole bunch of things that have to be worked out with the property owner, with the surveyor, with somebody to pump it and somebody to fill it. <laughs> so anyway, it's just got to gotta get a hold of uh, Chief Krause. I think they can either give us a pump and we can pump it or they can go pump it out. Or, so just uh, this all just happened earlier this week. So it's, uh, it's certainly in progress, but just to give you an idea of where we're at with it. And of course, Mr. Fong's, or Wong, is, uh, he'll be happy to have his pond filled in and willingly donate a good chunk of property that we can use for obviously for parking or expanding the uh, playground. So it's a win-win. It's great. Yeah. great. Good work, guys. <coughs> okay, I lost myself. Where, did we approve that or just talking about it? Well, we approved it. Uh, we okay. approved Yes, I thought we did. Yeah. yeah, I didn't want to ask it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, treasurer's report. Has everybody got a copy of the treasurer's report? Yes. Yeah. 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 Any questions, concerns? Can I get a motion to accept, accept, accept the treasurer's report? Would it be received? Uh, yeah. So can I get a motion to receive the treasurer's report? I move to receive the treasurer's report as presented. I'll second second it. It. Any other questions, concerns? No. All those in favor of receiving the treasurer's report, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those contrary minded? Motion carried. Thank you. So we have item 16, the older unfinished business. Uh, I don't know if there's any updates on these as I go through them. If anybody knows of any updates, uh, raise their hand, I guess. So the accessibility trail, the recreation building, church, multi-purpose hard surface, the one being done over here. Do we have any updates on that? We, were, we talked to Mark. He's going to start it next week. Okay, great. Uh, solar array, Mr. Salesman McKenzie, anything new on that? Uh, probably in August or September. Perfect. I see you have a uh, solar array in your room. And I have one online now too, yeah. Yes. I'll have to check that out with you further at a later date. Yeah. Looks good. I don't have it a two-way two meter yet though, so uh -huh. talk to me after my two-way meter. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, Ralph Gorman was there, so it is, uh, we kind of did an update on that. So the new business, streetlight installation corner of Route 640 in Eaglewood. So we need a motion there. I move to authorize and direct the clerk to contact MB Power to request to have street lights with a minimum of 600 lumens, 6,000 lumens, the correction, installed at the corner of 640 Hamwell Road and Eaglewood Drive. I'll second. Any questions? Nope. The only question I had was, did we look into whether or not, if we can put a actual crosswalk there, if the light would need to be changed, or if this is. Okay. No, we're just well. We're just doing the street light up for the time being. If we go through with a crosswalk, they may want different lights. Who knows what the requirements will be once we put a crosswalk in? But we still at least have in case the crosswalk don't go. At least we have a street light there for again for safety reasons. Have we heard yeah. anything more about no. crosswalk? No. No. Okay. Okay. 
All those in favor of the authorization of the street light at the corner of Eaglewood and Route 640, uh, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those contrary, line. Thank you. Motion carried. So we got a bylaw amendment, uh, 2322, amendment to a bylaw to regulate the emissions of dust from construction and private roads. Has everybody looked that amendment over? Mm -hmm. No issues? Everybody's in agreement? I move the amendment to bylaw, to bylaw 23-2022, a bylaw to regulate the emissions of dust from con construction and private roads be given the first reading by title. I'll second. Any questions? Some discussion. So um, the Governance Committee and Policy Committee is looking into um, whether this is actually needed the, the, for the comments and so forth that were uh, provided to investigate the type of water and so forth like that. Uh, as of right now, it looks like none of that's required by provincial regulations. So we're just going to verify with the province if, uh, if that's the case. Because right now it's written basically as our municipalities have it, which is, makes sense because it basically follows the provincial guidelines. So we're just going to verify with the government. I would say, though, that we as a municipality can do better if we're looking at asking to print potable water to be used rather than just any type of water that they can haul from the pond for example that we're going to need pumped out and put on that road will it affect other the residents wells nearby so well, it's, it's provincial law shows right now that it doesn't and in fact the provincial guidelines for it tell you how to take it out of ponds and to verify that when you're doing it that you're not sucking certain things up like fish and stuff like that so that's uh so like I said, we're going to look into it, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. But I don't mind doing the first reading. We just um, It might not go further than that. It might. You know, it depends on what you guys want to do. We'll make recommendations. The committee will make recommendations after discussing with the province. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. All those in favor of uh, the bylaw be given first readings, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those contrary, mind it. Motion carried. Thank you. Somebody the first Sorry, I'm uh, just, the, just the title. Huh? A bylaw to regulate the emissions of dust from construction and private roads. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we don't have a closed session, but we uh, upcoming activities uh, under 18A. Baby and Me program starts June 22nd at 10 a.m. Nature in New Brunswick, Handel Park, June 27th at 6 p.m. Uh, regional to get together June 28th at 5:30 uh, to 7 p.m. I hope everybody can uh, somehow find it in the schedule to make that. It's the first time we've done it in a number of years, so I think everybody's looking forward to doing this. Uh, public meeting, industrial park thefts at 7 o'clock. That should be interesting. That's the one that's being organized by our uh, MLA, Minister Cardi. That's on the 29th. Does this yeah. It doesn't say when. It doesn't, doesn't say when, just as the 7 p.m. Oh, so I believe it's June 29th, isn't it? It is June 29th. Yeah. Uh, communications committee meeting, July 4th at 5.30 p.m. Parks and recreation meeting, July 12th at 7 p.m. Administrative just, meeting. Okay. Well, Sorry, parks and recreation is going to be meeting July 5th. Oh, okay. A little early. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, and then meeting, July 13th at 7 p.m., council meeting, July 20th at 7 p.m., Strawberry Social, July 21st at 6.30 p.m., and Scotty and the Stars, July 23rd at 2 p.m. Council, I believe that kind of wraps things up, the time and date of our next location, our next location, our next meeting, <laughs> like the meeting of council, uh, council chambers here on July 20th at 7 p.m. All those in favor of returning, please say bye-bye saying aye. aye. All those contrary minded. Hey, good. Thank you, Council. Very, very good meeting. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Be nice to you. <laughs> Is it the one with the nominator that Terry wasn't here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, my God. You can tell her that.